We still get many questions and inquiries for adapters for powering 220 volt appliances like these heaters here, dryers, AC units, cooking appliances, you name it. And they want to connect it to the regular 110 volt outlet at home that you see pretty much everywhere at home. And we've created a lot of videos about why it won't work. We've done a lot of posts about why it won't work. So now we'll actually show you a couple examples that we have here on hand and show you how exactly it won't work. Here we have two portable heaters that are strictly wired for only 220 volt usage. Over here, NEMA 620. and NEMA 630. And these are both wired specifically for 220 volt usage. So two hots and a ground. And it's the exact same way for the 620, two hots and a ground. So it's only gonna be able to, it's only gonna be, able to be used at 220 volts and it needs a 220 volt outlet. So a lot of times people will try to get EV515 620-012 for powering, let's say, this 620 heater from a household outlet. We specifically mentioned that this is for EV usage only because the onboard computers on electric vehicles can usually sense the specific voltage an outlet can put out and adjust the charging accordingly. So we're going to use this incorrectly here. It's connected there. Plug it in here. And then it's on max heat, and then we'll put it on high. So power indicator's on. That's what the 110 volts is for. The fan is moving very, very slowly. And I could just probably, it's actually cool air. I could probably leave my hand here all day and it wouldn't get burned. You can just barely hear it running too. Okay. then turn that off and then we have here a 1430 outlet which is usually used for dryers it's 220 volts so use oh, this adapter plug that in and then we'll on the same test I haven't changed anything on high power indicator. Fan's going a lot faster, you can actually hear it this time. It's already getting warm. Yeah, that's already pretty hot to the touch, so. Now it works efficiently and correctly like it should. Because you need that extra hot. The two hots are there for. The one is the power indicator and the fan mostly. And then the second one is for the heating element. That's why you need 220 volts is for the other element in that. Same goes with AC, dryers, cooking appliances, you name it. Okay, we're on the same exact test. With the 630 heater. We have a adapter we made just for demo purposes. That's household, the 630. We don't make these or sell these at all. If you see these on the market, they won't work. Because again, 630 needs 220 volts. So connect that. Putting off quite a bit of heat. I'll get that going. Again, just really, really slow fan. Can't even hear it. Can't even see the heating element getting warm. Normally it turn like orangish or red. Just a really 
bad fan. Okay. We will turn that off. And same thing using the dryer outlet. Okay. And then Right away, you can hear it. The fan's actually going pretty fast. It's already warm. And that's hot to the touch. So again, having 220, you have that extra hot wire for the heating element. So if we add a 620 or 630 air conditioner or even a 1030 dryer or some other cooking appliance, the same result would happen. With the dryer, you probably just have the lights going and like a slight fan, but it would take forever to dry your clothes. It just wouldn't work. So that's why you can't run appliances that are specifically wired for 220 volts from a regular household outlet. It just won't work. So if you have any other questions similar to this topic, please leave us a comment down below. Otherwise, be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.